Hey guys, it's Rick. We're back here with another Facebook monster haul. Um, this is all from three different people. I have my two hookups on Facebook. That is where a lot of this stuff is from. And I did a local Facebook pickup. Um, a good amount of stuff that was uh, to keep, but a lot of it was to flip. So we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna do what we've been doing. We're going to do DVDs, then Blu-rays, then 4Ks. I have everything in alphabetical order, which is a bit different. So we're going to dive right in. I, I got to find out if this has a Blu-ray release. I remember enjoying this, although I've never seen the original, I believe, which is from 59. Uh, but I remember seeing this and really enjoying it. It stars Jeffrey Rush, Famke Jansen, Ali Larder, uh, Chris Kattan, Peter Gallagher, Tay Diggs. And this is from, I think, like 2000 or 99. It's like 99 or 2000, but it is House on Haunted Hill. You guys will have to let me know, does this have a Blu-ray release? If so, I'll need to look into getting it. But I enjoyed this movie. This came out when I was a teenager. It was definitely one I watched. So House on Haunted Hill, very cool to add that to the collection. Next is a film I've never seen the whole thing of. We started watching this in school, and I don't think we ever finished it. Um, it's about the guy, I believe, who... in. I think he invents the the hula hoop, if I remember correctly. But it's directed by Joel Cohen and uh, written by the Cohen brothers and Sam Raimi, which is awesome. Uh, stars Tim Robbins, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Paul Newman. And uh, it is the Hudsucker Proxy. Uh, like I said, I've only seen part of this. I never got to watch the whole thing. Uh, because we only watched part of it in school for some reason. So definitely want to check that one out. I enjoyed what I saw of it, at least what I remember of it. So next up is uh, this being... Oh, and by the way, both of those with Snappas. For Joe Martinez and Marie. They Snappa cases. Snappa, S-N-A-P-P-A-H, Snappa. So this Snappy here is uh, factory sealed. And it is Murder in the First. I've never seen this. Uh, looks like a courtroom crime kind of drama. Uh, Gary Oldman, Christian Slater, and Kevin Bacon. A trial that brought down Alcatraz. So this looks awesome. Uh, like I said, fantastic cast with those three. Also is William H. Macy and R. Lee Ermey. Um, this is from 94. So I uh, have not seen this. So definitely looking forward to checking out Murder in the First. Uh, this is a documentary I love before Roger Moore kind of became what he is today, a massive filmmaker, very political filmmaker. This uh, was from 1989, I believe, this movie. Uh, it talks a lot about his hometown of Detroit and the auto industry. Um, no. Nope, I'm thinking of the big one. This isn't about the auto industry. This is just about his hometown. I'm confusing movies. I think that was called The Big One. This is Roger and Me. Uh, I think I really like this movie. I could be thinking of The Big One now that I read the back of this. No. Uh, efforts to meet General Motors. No, this is the movie I'm thinking of. Sorry. Brain fart. Roger and Me. Great documentary. Like I said, an early Michael Moore film. That's also a brand new factory sealed snapper. And that's it for the snappers. Next up, another film I've never seen. Uh, this stars Bobby Cannavale, Patricia Clarkson, uh, Michelle Williams, and of course, Peter Dinklage. And that is The Station Agent. Never seen it. Um, sounds excellent. Uh, I love Peter Dinklage. I love Bobby Cannavale. So definitely interested in checking this one out for sure. I've never seen that. This is a movie I watched uh, a lot as a younger kid. Bridget has never seen this one. So... Definitely want to show it to her. I think this came out maybe like 93, 92, 93. Uh, and that is Swing Kids. It's basically about um, a group of kids during uh, Nazi Germany who would go to like underground clubs. It has Christian Bale in it. Um, also Robert Sean Leonard from Dead Poets Society. Uh, Frank Whaley from Career Opportunities. And, uh, yeah, they basically, uh, it's, it's good. It's a drama, but, uh, great performances by young actors. Um, 
swing kids. Like I said, Bridget's never seen that. This one I initially got to uh, resell, but based on the description and the cast of this film, Bridget and I both want to check this out. You have <clears throat> Gary Oldman, Kate Beckinsale, Patricia Arquette, Matthew McConaughey, uh, and that is called Tiptoes. I never heard of it. Let me know if you guys have seen this one. It sounds really good uh, and a fantastic cast there. So this is from 04, 03, 04 it looks like. So uh, yeah, Tiptoes, let me know. Any good? Like I said, Bridget and I both thought it looked interesting so we wanna check that out. Uh, now it's time for the Blu-rays guys. The first thing here I got Basically is a shelf space saver and a temporary title. Uh, and I say that because the 4K is coming out in about a month and a half. And I will be upgrading. And I already own this on Steelbook on Blu-ray. So I basically have, I had the original set, which was a bigger set. Took up a lot of space. And I like this set because it's, it's like a digibook kind of. And it is the Back to the Future 30th Anniversary Edition. Um, all this stuff, except for the next title, are all from my uh, one of my two of my Facebook guys. So it has the three movies, and then it has the bonus disc. It still has the Back to the Future ride and the Jaws 19 trailer and everything. Like I said, it comes in this this book. The movies are in sleeves, so it's cool. It, it's going to be temporary because once I get the 4K set. Uh, that'll have the discs on Blu-ray and 4K. So this is a temporary uh, shelf filler and space saver. I could have just waited, honestly, but why not? Uh, this I got off of Facebook Marketplace uh, and a local pickup. This was $2, and it's a movie I've never seen but have heard fantastic things about but just haven't had the chance to watch it. I know it's a heavy movie. And that is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Um, this was a very popular rental when I worked at Blockbuster in 2008. Uh, we only had like two copies. It was always being rented out. People were always asking for it. I've never seen it. Um, I think Vera Farmiga is the only name I personally recognize in it. So definitely want to check this one out. Like I said, I've never seen this. <clears throat> so that is Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Next up. Um, this movie is outstanding. I can't tell which pile you guys can see. I'm trying not to give away any uh, hints of what's being shown. This is a movie that everybody should see. Uh, very important film. Touches a lot of a lot of crazy issues that a lot of people don't even know about, and is just incredibly well done. Fantastic performances throughout. Basically about an attorney going after a major company. I've talked about it on this channel in a review video. And that is Dark Waters, um, which stars Mark Ruffalo, Anne Hathaway, Tim Robbins, and Bill Pullman. Um, basically about DuPont and um, chemicals that they use in products that 90, I think it's like 98% of Americans use. So... Dark Waters, uh, you might not want to watch it, but it is something that everyone should watch, in my opinion. <clears throat> this is a movie Bridget wanted to um, keep on Blu-ray. Uh, like I said, it was part of stuff I got from one of my Facebook um, guys. This was the, the second to last movie I think we saw in theaters in March before everything kind of closed down. I liked it. I didn't love it. Um, not really my movie. Not not something I would normally watch, but it was entertaining. And that is Emma, which stars, I never get her name right, Anna Taylor-Joy and Bill Nye. He, Bill Nye? Yeah. But a uh, remake of the classic Jane Austen story, Emma. <clears throat> this I got the week it came out. Still have not yet watched it. I keep kicking the table. I'm sorry for shaking the camera. This is a 2020 movie. Like I said, I got this the week it came out and still haven't watched it. Uh, so there's Ice Cube, Kelvin Harrison Jr., Tracy Ellis Ross, and Dakota Johnson, and that is the high note. Um, it looked good. It, it's a music movie, so usually I enjoy those. Uh, but this came out 2020. It was supposed to come out theatrically and got basically a at-home VOD release. So we'll check that out. Next up is a Space Saver. It is the Hunger Games four movie set. 
So now I own everything in one case instead of multiple cases and it, well, I think one steel book. I just kept this. I think I got rid of the rest. I might have one of the steel books sealed still actually online. Uh, the 100 game four movie set. So it's nice to own everything in one case. Same thing here. I owned Crank and Crank 2 in a double feature. Got rid of that and basically upgraded to the Jason Statham 6 movie set, which features a Wild Card, which I don't think I've ever seen, War, which I've never seen, The Bank Job, which I enjoyed, Crank 1 and 2, and Transporter 3. Um, so a cool little set, basically taking up the same amount of space as the Crank 1 and 2 double feature, but with four additional movies. So grab that. Next up, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War uh, on Blu-ray. Wanted to get that because I have, I think, 95% of the DC animated movies and wanted to add that. I actually have another one that's supposed to be in the mail Monday. Um, so you guys probably won't see that for a while because I'm recording all these videos on the same day. Getting ready to go back to work next week, but it'll be in a future video. Next up is a kids movie that, uh, I don't know, I, I thought it would be a fun movie to watch sometime when RJ's here. It's about like um, a theme park, like an imagination theme park. It has good voice actors, Jennifer Garner, John Oliver, <clears throat> Mila Kunis, Matthew Broderick, Keenan Thompson is Wonder Park. Have any of you guys seen this? I think it was released by Paramount. Um, was this any good? Let me know. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to watch, like I said, with RJ and Bridget. It looks like it would be entertaining. So let me know. Good. Should I have not gotten it? Wonder Park. So that is it for regular Blu-rays. However, we have a couple Blu-ray TV series. The first one, uh, the only season that Ruby Rose will be a part of and playing Batwoman, and that is... Batwoman season one, uh, like I said, Ruby Rose stars as Batwoman and she will not be on the show any longer. So um, I'm curious to check this out. Uh, I think it'll probably be on HBO Max, but I figured it would be fun to check this out. So Batwoman, next up, I just got this in the mail yesterday from my guy and it is another HBO series based on a Stephen King novel. It stars Jason Bateman and Ben Mendelsohn. I've heard really good things, excuse me. And this is The Outsider, um, cool like, I love the artwork and the matte and gloss finish of this slipcase. So The Outsider, I think this looks excellent. So I'm excited to check this out. Uh, and now we're gonna get into some 4K. I think these are all, these are all upgrades. However, one of them I'll be keeping, I'll get into why. Um, I'll be keeping the Blu-ray, I mean. So the first one is American Made with Tom Cruise, uh, Dom Hall Gleason, uh, Kel Blandry Jones. I really enjoyed this movie based on a true lie. Uh, it was a good movie. I really enjoyed it. He was working for the CIA, but yeah, it, it was really good. American Made, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, next up is a 4K of The Martian, the extended edition, which... Because it's a Fox title, who knows if we'll ever get any other versions of it on 4K. Because Disney said they're not doing catalog titles anymore of movies. So uh, it comes with the Martian Extended Edition on 4K, the Theatrical and Extended Blu-ray, and then a bonus feature disc. So I've never seen the extended version of the Martian. I really love the movie. I'm trying to see what the runtime difference is. Hmm... Uh, oh, it's 151 minutes. The regular version is 141 minutes. So I wonder what's in there that wasn't in the original. Uh, next up, I really have been holding off buying this and a few other movies because I wanted to get the steelbooks. However, there was never a price drop on those steelbooks, unlike the other steelbooks that, uh, that Disney had sold to Best Buy. Um, but I want the steelbook for this. I just don't want to spend $35 on it. And I got this for a much better price. So as a temporary placeholder, Monsters, Inc. on 4K, perhaps my favorite Pixar movie next to the Toy Story 1 and 2 movies. 
I love Monsters, Inc. I love Monsters University, but this movie is one of my favorites. Fantastic film. Excited to see it on 4K. Uh, so yeah, Monsters, Inc. This is the movie I was talking about where I um, wanted to upgrade to 4K because now I'll have the, the newer trilogy in 4K, but I'll also keep my Blu-ray of this because it's a really cool Blu-ray steelbook. And that is The Force Awakens, Star Wars, my favorite of the Star Wars films. And now, like I said, I own this, Last Jedi and Rise of the Skywalker on 4K. Uh, I own the original six on Blu-ray, the original three, and then the prequels. Uh, and I also own Solo on 4K as well. So the newer ones I have on 4K. I'm keeping the Force Awakens steelbook because it's, it's awesome. It's really cool. And uh, upgraded that to 4K. Next up... Straight out of Compton, all about the NWA, Dr. Dre, Eazy-E, Ice Cube, MC Ren, DJ Yella. I can never remember the other three or two. Um, I enjoyed this movie a lot. It's an F. Gary Gray film, so why not upgrade it? It was the right price. And last but not least, because I got the first Trolls movie on 4K. Yes, the first Trolls movie on 4K. Why not upgrade World Tour to 4K so I can have them both in 4K, get rid of the Blu-ray, and uh, yeah, upgrade it to 4K, the higher quality. I feel like this is not focused, but maybe I'm not focused. Trolls World Tour on 4K, and that is it, guys. Um, I'm going to try to do an elevator here without spilling stuff. I also need to take a big drink of water when this video is over. Let's see. All right. We're going to go two-handed. And... Joe doesn't have that copyright, does he? Martinez, Joe, if you have that copyright, I'll send you two cents. All right, buddy? So that is it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Subscribe to the channel if you don't do so already. It would be much appreciated. Also, hit that bell notification so you guys know when new content is coming to the channel. I got to keep fixing my shirt because my microphone's pulling it down. I don't want you guys to see too much. The video is PG. Uh, also, check out the description box down below. Read find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, eBay page, Amazon wishlist, Blu-ray.com profile, letterbox story review, all the movies that I watch email address, P.O. Box. Until next time, I need a drink of water, guys. Still watching? I know what everybody wants. Who's down the movie?